Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know that I upload two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But with that out of the way, we are back again in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And today we're going to be doing another shrine video. So on the last one, I did three shrines, and it worked out to about 20 minutes. So I'm going to try that again this time. Let's see if we can get through three of them. Okay, let's see if I can land this nice... Is that what I was supposed to do? Did I just mess that up? Okay, I think I'm supposed to make my way down there, but I need some help. I don't have much normal food. I'm, I need to go and cook some more stuff. I have nothing that gives me stamina, which is definitely an issue. So any other video ideas that you'd like to see, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. 
I know there's still a few suggestions I haven't um, gotten around to making, like a horror game. I did buy Resident Evil Village to make a video, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Definitely putting it off a bit since uh, I don't really play horror games. Um, I'm not scared, but I don't think I want to play it at night. So finding a time when I can record during the day um, and I'm in the mood to try out a horror game has just been uh, hard to find that, that mix. But I will try to get around to it eventually. I did buy the game, so it's on my list to do. But yeah, please give me any ideas you'd like to see. this fit better in between here. It's gonna fly off crooked, I suspect. This could definitely go horribly wrong. Or it could go horribly right. just talking to my friend and he says that it's 
a really good game. And I looked more into it, and apparently, according to some people, it's one of the best RPGs of all time. So, I am intrigued and want to check it out, but it is a very, very long game. So, on my ROG Ally, um, I've, I've customized it, and I have an add-on in my game launcher that takes data from howlongtobeat.com, which gives you a rough estimate of how long a game takes to beat. And I think the main story for Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is like around 60 hours. So that's a, that's a long time. I doubt I would ever beat it, but I kind of want to start it. But on the other hand, I do want to beat Zelda, and I think this is a pretty long game, so I don't know. If that's a game that any of you are dying to see me play, let me know and twist my arm and maybe I'll record some videos. I also took advantage of the Steam Summer Sale that just started, and I bought way too many games, and I'm sure that some of them I will never play, but I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, which I already have for PlayStation 4. I bought a PlayStation 4 during quarantine for the game Dreams, which I did not play much of. But anyway, so I've played. One second. Sturdy long stick. Um, I have played Red Dead Redemption 2 before. I haven't got that far into it. I think I completed like maybe 20% of the game, um, but I'm interested to play it on handheld. I think that'd be cool to be able to play it on the go. So I bought that since it was on sale for only $20. And can you use this ability when you're crouching? You cannot. Um, I bought the Mass Effect. Legendary Edition, which I also bought that for um, PlayStation 4 when it came out, and those are games I actually have beat. Mass Effect is probably one of my favorite franchises. I guess I'll use this up. So I have beat all the Mass Effect games. I started at Mass Effect 2, um, and then I played and beat Mass Effect 3. Let's see. Wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. So I originally started with Mass Effect 2 on Xbox 360. What is that? A sturdy wooden stick. save file, and I never end up doing it. 
might be Mass Effect 1, and then I get like halfway through Mass Effect 2, and uh, end up getting distracted and never coming back to it, even though Mass Effect 2 is probably the best game in the series, and I, I think that's kind of a universal opinion. But anyway, I bought that again, so I have that on handheld, and have aspirations to... I know I do want to go through all three of them on one save, but I've played Mass Effect 1 so many times, and it's my least favorite one. So I don't know if I'll end up doing that, but... Uh, but if you are interested in seeing a Mass Effect, preferably Mass Effect 2 video, I could be easily convinced to record one of those. Um, then I also bought Diver Dave, which is a new game that everyone seems to love. I think it just came up, but the reviews for it are really good. Wow, I have really shitty weapons. So I bought Diver Dave. I bought Dredge, which is like a, a horror fishing game which also seems pretty good. What else did I buy? Um, I bought the Far Harbor. Um, the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4. We'll see if I ever get around to playing that. But it's a model after Bar Harbor, which um, is a few hours from where I grew up, and I've heard that's a pretty good DLC. So I'm interested in playing that on handheld as well. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Can I push it? Oh, can I push it from the inside? Maybe. Nope. I can't move it with this kind of... Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, okay. Shit, could I have done that before? Am I an idiot? Am I a freaking idiot? Yes, I think I am. So yeah, we'll see if I ever get around to playing Far Harbor. But I bought that. I don't know. I was looking at buying the game Grim Dawn. But I don't think I pulled the trigger on that one. What else was there? I think there are some other games I bought, but I... I can't think of what they were. Those are the main ones, so if any of those interest you, let me know, and I'd consider, definitely consider making videos of them. Okay, what is this green? What does the green mean? Can't open that. Can't reverse it. Can't ascend up there. It's like a key. And then there's this below. How the hell do I get down there? There's definitely something I'm missing. Ascend through that. Do I need to just hit it? Do I shoot it? Nope. What the hell are these symbols? I've never seen these symbols before. Like, does 
does that chest have a key down there? That's my only guess is there's a key in that chest. Don't throw the ball, I don't think. We grab the ball with this so we don't hit the lasers. We be very, very careful. There's no one. 
Let's hope that that glider was just like an optional objective. Okay, well, that was a bit of a struggle. Let's see if there's any hidden chests back here. It does not appear to be. Well, I thought maybe we'd be able to fit four shrines in in 20 minutes, but this one really stumped me a few times. But we have completed our third shrine. The video is a little longer than I expected, but not too long. So... So this is where I will leave you. I hope you found this video both entertaining and relaxing. Hopefully mostly relaxing. And if you're trying to fall asleep, I hope you're not hearing me say this. And if you are, just relax. Just relax. Just relax. And you'll be asleep soon. If you'd like to watch another video, they should be popping up on the screen any moment. And if you made it to this part in the video,